Hi friends, welcome to Biology Exams for A.com. Today's topic of our discussion is how can we calculate dilution factor in serial dilution within 5 minutes. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing this channel. Let's begin with an important concept. Is there any difference between dilution and dilution factor? As per standard microbiology lab manuals, there is a difference between dilution and dilution factor. This understanding is very important in solving all calculations associated with serial dilution. Let's begin with an example. We are going to carry out serial dilution. This is the stock solution. This is the first test tube labeled A. So we have transferred 1 ml of stock solution into the first test tube A with 9 ml of the diluent. So we have a total volume of 10 ml in the test tube A. To calculate dilution of this test tube A, the equation is Vi by Vf. That means Vi is a volume of stock transferred or initial volume that is 1 ml, whereas Vf is a final volume that is this 9 ml of the diluent plus the 1 ml transferred that makes 10 ml. Therefore, 1 by 10 that is equal to 1 by 10th dilution or it can be written as 0.1 or 10 raised to minus 1 dilution. So this is the dilution of the tube A. Then what is dilution factor? Dilution factor is simply the reciprocal of the dilution or it is the inverse of dilution. It is Vf by Vi. So the equation becomes 10 by 1 that is 10 or 10 raised to 1 is the dilution factor. It is also represented as 1 is to 10. That means 1 part of the original stock plus 9 part of the diluent forming 10 parts. So the first point is dilution factor is the reciprocal or inverse of dilution. Now let us calculate the dilution factor in serial dilution. We have given a short video on serial dilution. Thank you so much for your support for making that video one of the most popular videos on serial dilution. You can refer that for more on serial dilution. We have taken four test tubes A, B, C and D. So from the stock solution, 1 ml is transferred to the test tube 1 which contains 9 ml of the diluent forming 10 ml, forming the 1 tenth dilution. We have already discussed that. Remember, dilution is also called as concentration factor in some laboratory manuals. So we have dilution factor 10 raised to 1 in test tube A and total dilution factor is also 10 raised to 1. This is properly mixed and 1 ml is transferred into test tube B. In serial dilution, it is diluting the original stock by decreasing the concentration by the same quantity at each successive step. So here it is one tenth dilution. Here it will become one by hundred dilution. That is one by ten into one by ten. That makes one by hundred compared to the stock solution. Total dilution factor we need to combine these two multiply this dilution factor also. So for the B tube, the total dilution factor will be 10 raised to 1 into 10 raised to 1, that is 10 raised to 2. As this is a serial dilution process, again one tenth dilution happening in the tube C. So that makes 1 by 1000 dilution or 10 raised to minus 3 dilution. That means 1000 times diluted compared to this stock solution. Total dilution factor will be 10 raised to 3 in this case, that is 10 raised to 1 into 10 raised to 1 into 10 raised to 1 that makes 10 raised to 3. In the fourth test tube the same thing happens that forms 1 by 10,000 dilution that is 10 raised to minus 4. Therefore the total dilution factor becomes 10 raised to 4 that is 10 raised to 1 into 10 raised to 1 into 10 raised to 1 into 10 raised to 1 that makes 10 raised to 4. That means 10,000 times or 10,000 fold decrease in concentration compared to the original stock solution. Dilution factor is simply the reciprocal or inverse of dilution. This total dilution factor is used to calculate colony forming units in bacteriology. 
Hope you understand this concept. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsfari.com. Please consider subscribing, share and like this video.